Elizabeth Salander is one of the most complex and fascinating characters ever put to screen. She possesses a starkly just morality, but at the same time, it is only revealed when something challenges her reflexive nature to stay alive and protect those who struggle as she does. She's not strictly a fight the power protagonist, nor a dedicated feminist, and not even a Jason Bourne action hero, as the girl in the spider's web makes her out to be. She only fights for what she personally feels is right, and it just so happens to align with notable ideologies. But for all her courage and righteous action, there is simultaneously a sadness to her that always comes back around. At the end of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, she feels that she has finally found someone she can be vulnerable with, journalist Mikael Blunkvist, and it's something she has rarely, if ever, had before. But the promiscuous Mikkel saw their brief romance as either just a fun fling or possibly denied his true feelings for Lisbeth in worries of what others may think of him. But she soon realizes that she's not special to him, or at least that's what she feels from her distant standpoint. She's just another notch on his belt, nothing more. And within an instant, the hopeful development of Lisbeth into reconnecting with others is washed away, possibly never to return. After a lifetime of male abuse, domination, and dismissal, she feels like she's right back where she started. She has no real friends and no relationships, only herself. In Fede Alvarez's Girl in the Spider's Web, we see Elizabeth faced with yet another heartbreaking outcome. She stopped worldwide meltdown, probably saving millions of lives, but her sister, the antagonist of the story, breaks her right back down with just a few words. Why did you help everyone but me? For 16 years. Every day. You chose not to save me. The underlying sadness of Lisbeth is, and always will be, just as present in her life as all the notable achievements. In the end, we are presented with a character who makes us feel unstoppable. But at the same time, reminds us of the damage that can often plague those who fight to make the world better for others like them.